Director of Schools Donnie Poston has no intentions of stepping down as director. Contrary to rumor, Poston told WLAF yesterday afternoon that he has no plans to voluntarily step down as director of Campbell County Public Schools. Poston goes on to say that he told the board he'd be willing to serve another year. He says he's told them that and he's told them that. He adds that he's tried to make that clear. He explains that you have to have seven votes to do that and he has five. Poston says the writing is on the wall. He is referring to a vote taken during last week's meeting in which the school board deadlocked four to four on final approval of a contract extension that would retain him as director until 2014. Absent from that meeting were two members that might have helped to sway the vote one way or another. A month earlier, the board unanimously voted nine to one in favor of Poston. None of the dissenting board members gave a reason for the way they voted the second time around. During the December meeting, board member Rector Miller pushed for modifications to the contract, including benchmarks targeting improved test scores. Poston spent 30 years in Campbell County Public Schools, many of them as principal of Valley View Elementary, until retiring and taking the job as headmaster of the Christian Academy of Campbell County. In April of 2010, he left the Christian Academy to become director of Campbell County Public Schools. Poston notes that Campbell County has been through so much and it needed healing. He goes on to say that we've had success with some things and that he's tried to empower principals and let them empower their teachers. Poston calls these types of things major distractions and that he doesn't know what else he could have said. He does say that the easiest thing for him to have done was to go to the house. Unless Poston receives the one-year extension on his contract he is seeking, his current contract ends on June 30th. A former Jacksboro Eagle moves up the college coaching ladder. Jamie Chadwells had a very busy week. His second child was born on Sunday and on Thursday, Charleston Southern University named Chadwell as its new head football coach. The 36-year-old Chadwell becomes the third head coach in CSU history. He replaces Jay Mills, who retired earlier this month after 10 seasons as CSU's head coach. Chadwell, who is 25 and 21 in his four seasons as a college head coach, spent five seasons at CSU as an assistant, all as a part of Mills' staff, and now returns to head a program that he helped build. His previous head coaching stops were at North Greenville and Delta State. Chadwell starred as a quarterback at Jacksboro Middle School, Anderson County High, and East Tennessee State University. Connect to our web channel for more on Chadwell. You'll find a link to see the press conference where he was introduced as CSU's head football coach as well as the entire press release. Teachers in Campbell County Public Schools have voted overwhelmingly to participate in collaborative conferencing with the Board of Education. This is what was once known as collective bargaining. A committee of principals, vice principals, supervisors, and central office and teachers will soon begin talks on terms and conditions of employment. Those include salaries and wages, grievance procedures, insurance, fringe benefits, not to include pension or retirement programs of the Tennessee Consolidated Retirement System, 
or locally authorized early retirement incentives. Work conditions except those prescribed by federal and state law, private act, municipal charter, or rules and regulation of the State Board of Education, the Department of Education, or any other department or agency of state or local government. Leave, they will discuss, and payroll deductions except those dollars going to political activity. There are two teachers union groups in Campbell County, the AFT and the Tennessee Education Association. However, the majority of teachers belong to AFT. Chadwell said the biggest difference between the old collective bargaining process and the new collaborative conferencing is what has been restricted. He calls the new process interest-based problem-solving. Nobody in the county has ever done it this way before, said Chadwell. As employees, we're not happy with what has been restricted, but we're happy with the lines of communication being open. La Follette Medical Center, in cooperation with CHET, will be offering free flu shots tomorrow morning in the lobby of the medical center from 8 a.m. until 10 a.m. Rain, sleet, snow, thunder, I guess we saw and heard a little of all of these types of weather yesterday. The snow was coming down yesterday afternoon when boom, a big roll of thunder rang out. It seemed a little surprising, but I was told this is called thunder snow. Yes, thunder snow. One unique aspect of thunder snow is that snowfall acts as an acoustic suppressor of the thunder. The thunder from a typical thunderstorm can be heard many miles away, while the thunder from thunder snow can usually only be heard within a two to three mile radius from the lightning. In the United States, March is their peak month of formation, and on average, only 6.3 events are reported each year. And remember, Monday, the 21st day of the month, is Martin Luther King Day, and therefore, most county offices and banks and La Follette City Services will be closed. But we'll be here Monday evening with the news as usual. We'll be back right now with a press release from the Sheriff's Department. And taking a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department, only two people have been booked into the county jail in the last 24 hours. Tiffany Nache, age 24, of Earl Woodson Lane in La Follette, for obtaining a controlled substance by fraud, and 35-year-old Ralph Edward Gross of East 13th Street, La Follette, for violation of probation. And that wraps up the news and the press release for this Friday. Don't forget to have yourself a great weekend. We're going to have a little sunshine and warmer weather, so things look good. Enjoy it, and join us again Monday evening. Happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Hey, Big Josh with you once again on this Friday, this cold Friday, but it's a pretty Friday anyway. And we got to do our birthdays and anniversaries and uh, do our drawing for this Friday. Looking at our uh, birthdays for today, uh, Tammy Nelson is celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday to Tammy. And Marie Reed Ayers is celebrating today. Happy birthday. And Amanda Lynn Sharp. Uh, having a birthday today. Happy birthday, Amanda. And Jimmy Shepard is celebrating today. Happy birthday to Jimmy. Also, David Smith is having a birthday today. And we wish all of you uh, a great day today. Now, uh, if you're celebrating your birthday or your anniversary, we want you to have a good day. But you got to remember, 
you have to have your name in here in order to qualify for the drawing which we have done this morning and uh, you could win a, a birthday or an anniversary dinner for two from WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli and our winners we want to congratulate this week uh, let me see here uh, Tessa and Jerry Hayes is our anniversary winner congratulations to Tessa and Jerry and our birthday winner for this week uh, Megan Inman Megan turned 26 years old this past Wednesday so congratulations to Megan and Jerry and Tessa uh, you all have won uh, uh, Megan you won a birthday dinner for two from WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli and uh, the uh, Hayes have won an anniversary dinner for two. All right, well, that's it. Item run out of time. Got to get out of here. The birthday and anniversary club brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. Have a great weekend.